The refactoring oh, process has fan. begun. Oh, yeah! We made conflicting jokes. <laughs> Honestly, I gotta hand it to Heisenberg, though. This area pairs better with your joke than mine. That guy does seem like a huge metal fan. Watch that first step! Seems like a doozy. No, it's Wait, a doxy. Can you actually, like, fall off? <laughs> can you actually fall off into the middle there? Yeah. You have to be able to. I, like, I could feel myself slipping. There, you have to be. I mean, I... Maybe it's a trick. Maybe you can't. It's just that this doesn't seem too entirely safe. Why is there a valve on the inside of the fan shaft? In case someone gets stuck in, on the inside and needs to get out? Well, it kind of reminds me a little bit of that slide with a loop-de-loop -loop in it at Action Park, that water slide that had a notch in the top to let people out who got stuck in the middle of the loop. <laughs> That's what this is. This is Heisenberg's Action Park. When you think about it... Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. If that happens, it's all over. For your kid. And for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. You know, he did say... He did say that Rose would be safe. You know, okay, thank God. For a second, I thought he wasn't going to shoot it, and I was about to have some <laughs> kind of panic attack And when he, when he turned the camera away. Oh. Argate, it's, it's like a Pavlovian response, Argate. I, I think past Argate is fucking with us. <laughs> he might be. He went back and recorded the LP. He he went he went back and re-recorded the videos just because he heard my he he heard our lamentations. The this lamentations of your co-commentators. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we're pretty unignorable. We never shut up. <laughs> Nor does Heisenberg. <sighs> There's more. I really like that Heisenberg is just monologuing at us, right? Because we we had Lucas, but Lucas was more taunting. Whereas Heisenberg is taking this opportunity to kind of like justify himself to us. Because I got a feeling he gets pretty lonely around here. He probably doesn't. This he probably hasn't really had anyone to talk to about this. You know what I mean? He should have given one of his soldats a nice like robot. You know, vocal cords. Uh, oh, yeah, Microsoft Sam. What an yeah. excellent... <laughs> what an excellent plan you have there, Heisenberg. You programmed me to say this. He's got to make sure they're invincible first. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to learn... He's got to learn how to type before he can tell the text-to-speech what to say. <laughs> what, if he's, what if he's just like... That's right, Master Heisenberg. You are invincible. And he's like, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a couple no new molds, so we should go uh, bring those back to the ca the. Um... We haven't cleaned up the past mold yet. Yeah, really, we didn't even get a chance to clean up the past mold, given that we walked in that cave and we saw it still fucking growing underground. Like, of course the of course the mold is involved in all this. Oh my word. So yeah, there's a real good demonstration of how he was just swinging to walk rather than carefully approaching you. Yeah, yeah. The guy just I, had a hell I of totally a. I understand now. He just had a hell of a spring in his step. He just got a pay bonus <laughs> from Heisenberg, and he was like, he was he was like full on silly walking his way back to his car, like he was on he was on the way to the parking lot to leave. <laughs> And we would be, we would be collecting mold, wouldn't we? We're not the only one around here doing that, given that cave with the fungus in it. Apparently Mr. Chris Redfield is also building up a mold collection. It's just that we've got, we've got mechanical mold this time. And, and in a way, 
I find our usage of the molds here to almost to be like a reference to RE7. Because that's kind of what Heisenberg does too. Is he makes mechanical mold? You know, like the, as in like mechanical versions of the mold enemies. Like he's using the research to make Frankenstein's monsters. Like he Heisenberg honestly has the best solution here. Which is to harness the miserable zombie experiments. For fun and profit. It's just that he only seems interested in one specific type of profit. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, I don't actually understand why, but Heisenberg has a really strong horse motif going on. I don't either. I, I'm not sure what's up with... I'm not sure what's up with... The strength of that motif versus the motifs of the others. The others don't have motifs of, like, a very specific thing, really. Dimitrescu yeah, kind of has the sword and, like, a, a kind of... I don't know, a flower of some kind, but... Yeah, Heisenberg's is all very specifically this horseshoe thing. Like it's his personal touch or something. Hmm. Maybe he's just like fascinated with horsepower. But like, but like literal horsepower. He used to bet on like derby races. I don't mean horsepower as in like machinery. I mean, it, it checks it checks out as best as anything could really. I guess that's true. You know what? I'm going to pretend that I'm a genius and I just pieced it together. There you go, everybody. <laughs> He's got a lot of horsepower, that Heisenberg. <laughs> you know what? Hey, actually, I, I wonder if the horse motif is a remnant of earlier development with the enemies that were riding on horses. In, I mean, maybe. In Castle Dimitrescu. There are those big levers that she pulls were were designed by Heisenberg. They have the horse on them as like a topper for the lever. Speaking of a topper, it looks like there is a slot A and a shaft A, which we can fit into it. New weapon, new weapon, new weapon. It's Pyramid Head's great <laughs> knife. <laughs> That seems like a pretty great hammer. How much damage does it do? I didn't... Wait, why is it still on the treasure tab? Yeah. I didn't even... You know, I didn't even realize Heisenberg had a hammer. The, he, he had it at the beginning of the game. Is he? I don't remember. Yeah. During the trial. <laughs> yeah, he swings it around. It's what he It's what he breaks your... He breaks your little chain chomp chain with it so you can run away. Oh, speaking of running away... Yeah, that but, seems like that would be a good idea. I don't blame you. I, I don't blame you for forgetting about the hammer because he never uses it as a weapon in the game. And now you know why. It's because you have it. You just took it from him. Oh, I love wow. how bulky this dude is. <laughs> why did he deconstruct his own hammer to, to, to... Why did he do that? I... You know, maybe he was clean. I don't know. Maybe he was cleaning it. Maybe he was just applying some WD-40 to it to really grease the grease the cogs. I assume they move when he kills things, just because he can do that with his mind and he seems like a show-off. Yeah, no, that's fair. I get that. Okay. I really like that you can see this is what it's leading up to with this guy. This dude is the last step before Sturm. And you can see, based on the hallway where you encounter him, and the fact that he's completely covered in just scrap metal, you can see where Sturm came from as an idea based on the last iteration of the Soldat. I think that is the coolest shit in the world. Is that, you, uh, look, he's chasing us down a one by one hallway and you can't do shit. You had to blow off his armor to even hurt him. And so I can picture Heisenberg being like, oh yes, of course, this will do that Ethan Winters in. I just hope that Ethan Winters doesn't blow through his weak armor. Well, you could always just make him not wear armor by making him wear one <laughs> absolutely massive apparatus which can't be destroyed, right? This is true. But see, it's it really is smart because you can see 
almost you can Ooh, where did you get your hands on such a dude it was actually quite easy he just left it sitting around guy needs to yeah. guy needs to guard his valuables a little better I see anything else frankly I'm not sure why he needed to grease them separately but I mean if you want to grease your shaft in a different room I mean I grease my shaft in a different room I mean <laughs> Listen, you have to have the fireman's pole on the second floor if you want to slide down every morning when you wake up for a fun breakfast. <laughs> you know, I completely forgot I bought the machine pistol in uh, in this run. You don't need it. That's that's yeah. That's what surprises me is that the last pistol is kind of superfluous. The final upgrades for the 1911 make it just as good. So, which yeah, is uh, our game, odd. Yeah. That was a bit of a cut. How, how many how many tries did we miss? Um, <laughs> you know, dude. Do this. I love it. You didn't even need to complete the sentence. All you needed to do was sigh. This one is the hardest one by far. This one is so brutally hard, and it's this stupid it's this stupid train right at the bottom. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh, is, the, is the, the Duke okay? The Duke's busy greasing his shaft. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad he waited for us to leave the room. Same. Hey, hey, we've got the final skull now. Did you go and pick up the Moreau skull, by the way? I uh, did. Okay, I, I, I could not recall if you did that. I know you picked up the mermaid ball, but I could not recall. Okay. Yeah, same. I don't remember it either. Oh my god, the mermaid ball is just yeah, the top just half of a person with no bottom half. What is it with this game series? Seven and eight, <laughs> and the top half of a person with no bottom half, and then pants! Honestly, I'm not all that intimidated by Sturm, because it seems like Heisenberg wouldn't want to have run into Sturm. And look, you learned how to spell even in that second note! <laughs> nice! Oh he, yeah, he's there making you go. progress. He himself, he upgraded. He got he got Duolingo and then converted it to single lingo. <laughs> but yeah, I imagine he wouldn't want to bump into Sturm. Like, uh, like at an, it's like, uh, the moving walkway at an airport terminal. So, you know, it kind of makes sense that he would unleash Sturm in, in here, where he doesn't have to run around because he can control metal with his mind, because it kind of seems like he's made a monster that he probably couldn't fight, gi given that Sturm is really heavy and all that. You know, Heisenberg seems like he was about to encounter the problem of making a monster that he couldn't defeat. He was right on the cusp of making a Resident Evil boss, a nemesis for you. <laughs> but, but guess what? Even Nemesis had a weakness. Even he dropped big giant stupid suitcases if you shot him enough. And that bitch can't even swim. Sturm probably can't either. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, oh, Ethan! <laughs> I I may have gotten a little inspired from the last session. <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh. Man, it is just like the song too. You just run into his blades and die. You gotta you practice. <laughs> And, and you know, just like with Air Man, you, 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 you gotta get behind him to shoot him. <laughs> you do! You gotta get behind him! The wind turbine's too, it's too powerful from the front! <laughs> maybe, maybe don't run face first into propellers. That seems like a poor idea. I love how classic of a boss fight this is. It's such a classic fight, man. He, he runs straight into walls and you dodge him like he's a bull. 
What could be more video gaming? So what, right? So what? They made it so fun and so tense. Guess what? Uh, when, he's, when, when he starts overheating, he can start shooting or, you know, blowing fire out at you. You're, you were right. That was, in fact, a cooling tower. It was a cooling, it was a cooling chamber specifically for Sturm. He's got a, he's got a hot-headed temper. Oh my god! It's like Grimly Jack throwing out the tentacles at you! Oh my god! This <laughs> is just a fight with Joe and Jack again! I love this series so much! <laughs> Punch his head off! Punch his head off! <laughs> Shit! Wait, no! He's better than Gribbly Jack! He doesn't have a head to punch off! What are you gonna do, dude? Yeah, he, he does have a butt. attack for the last second? Oh! He, oh. he does have a butt to fill with buckshot, though, so that's... And in that way, in that way, he is on even ground with any normal enemy. Oh my god, but he's so stealthy! I don't know how the fuck I lost him in this, uh, in this mess. The shape of this room is so perfect for this boss fight, too. That, that big-ass open area that he could just completely fill with flames. You got him! <laughs> oh, he exploded into pants! <laughs> He's just, oh my god! I can't believe this game! I can't believe this game. <laughs> this is, that's amazing. Did you see? Right after he blew up, before he crumbled, he exploded into only the pants. Yeah, there were a couple <laughs> of pants only frames there. Do you think that it's yep. on purpose that the heart looks like Gribbly Jack getting punched in the head? That, that, that dual chamber thing heart that he has, it looks like an eyeball getting punched out of a head. I gotta, I gotta compare that. I have to compare that to the shape of that heart. There's no way, but it looks so similar. I love these games so much. <laughs> They're so weird. They love themselves. They love their symbolism. They love genuine Cubans. Oh yeah, I can't wait to sell a soggy cigar to the Duke. Dude, hey, that thing is still good. That thing's only half munched. This but thing it's probably really damp. <laughs> yeah, but no. So... No, damp is good. Damp is what you want for a cigar. You want cigars to is be damp. Yeah, you want a cigar to be damp. You, I mean, you don't want them to be so damp that you can't light them, but you want them to be really heavy and saturated so they make thick smoke. So they make big, like, thick clouds of smoke that you puff on. That crazy bitch. Wait, what the fuck does that mean? What did he say about the Mega My Seat? Hmm. Yeah, I feel that like, was weird. I feel like that note was a little bit more important than the Stogie there. <laughs> well, then, then again, we can sell the Stogie for money. And it's, it's like I was saying, that thing's only half chopped, my friend. That thing has got to be worth like $85 still, given that it's a cigar. A half-chewed cigar is worth half the price of a cigar. <laughs> is that how that works? I'm pretty sure. So, like, you could sell... Uh, so, so you could sell, like, a 99% used cigar for, like, $30. <laughs> this one's on clearance. A customer licked it when they thought I wasn't looking. Man... A store probably actually would sell those, though. Those those smoke shops, they they will sell all kinds of strange paraphernalia that has been, shall we say, not used. Abused is a better word. Refurbished is the word that they prefer to use. Yeah, com okay, okay, compromised, yeah. As in, like, you will be emotionally compromised if you, sh if you should happen to use it. <laughs> No, I, I want to go back to refurbished. I, I want to consider the thought of a, a tobacco shop selling a refurbished cigar. Again, hey, it's like you said, man. It was really damp. They customized the dampness. They cut. They customized the damp. They custom like it is a. What is it? Uh, it is a non-GMO, bona fide organic. I, it, 
I can't Wait, remember the explicit term for how high quality of a cigar it is. It would get is Michelin stars, free? that smoke shop. There you go. Gluten-free cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Much like Sisyphus, we got thrown all the way to the bottom, and we have made it back to the top. Finally, I get to complete that Sisyphus reference from like three videos ago. Hooray! Hooray! That's what this that's what this area reminds me of. Started at the top, get thrown all the way to the bottom. We beat Sturm! We worked our way up. I love that even Heisenberg started at the bottom with his experiments. What the no, that seems unnatural. His goddamn oh, ears dear. must have been tickling again! He must be listening to our commentary. You think he's hearing us through the reverberations of the metal in the factory? Not bad. Not bad, Jers. You're persistent. But I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my way. I do appreciate Ethan's quick thinking and, like, tucking himself up into that position to land in water. Jesus, yeah. If he had landed flat, he would have been dead. Oh, that would have hurt. Oh, my yeah. God. All I could think about is just, like, the water's got to be really cold, too. Just, just <laughs> nasty mountain, just nasty mountain swamp water that's been sitting at the bottom of this factory. It's probably like 75% leeches, given that Moreau segment. <laughs> I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch. You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Hand me that wrench. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <laughs> I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. 
All right, Ethan. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. You can't turn back now. Oh, man. Uh, so... Chris Redfield's mea culpa is kind of lame, I will say. I understand. I understand that Chris didn't want Ethan to be involved in all of that. And he knew that he would have another Pierce situation on his hands where Ethan would be just raring to take charge. And, and he, he wouldn't want to make bros with Ethan. Because Ethan's not a soldier. He's just some guy. Well, now we've defeated an entire platoon of Heisenberg soldiers. Do you think do you think Chris do you think Chris understands the mistake he made? I hope he does. Same, I also hope. <laughs> Same, but either way, I don't think he has much of a choice now. Is this the elevator that the, the Duke usually hangs out in? Yes. Okay. I guess he moved on. He I guess he you know what? We we opened up that skull. We opened we opened up the labyrinth and that was just what he was waiting around for. He was like, there is a valuable in there, and that Winters guy is going to open that labyrinth. I know he will. And then I'm moving. I'm moving out. This place is going out of business. And there's a, I mean, you can see it's the same elevator if you just, you know, use the map and look at the floors. But there's another uh, thing. I guess that makes sense. There's another thing that shows you it's the same elevator, and it's something I'm hoping you're saving a sweet trick shot for. If it is what I think you're thinking of, then I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint, you but disappointed I don't think I ever me found so it. hard, didn't you? <laughs> Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. <laughs> I'm coming, Rose. Uh-huh! Uh-huh! Well, you know, I- I am a fan of the- I am a fan of mech shooting games. Hang oh, on. Oh, no, don't look away! No! You have to see it! Uh... It's oh, just like- It's yeah, just like the Lala! Uh-huh! <laughs> you did see it, didn't you? I saw it just now. <laughs> you tried to get it anyway, with the chainsaw. <laughs> He tried to he tried to fire rocket propelled chainsaws, but sadly Chris didn't have the time to put in that upgrade. We've only got an infinite LMG. This tank's got a machine gun and a cannon. You're like a goddamn cockroach. Take me on. This will be my before I kill the bitch. Let's see. Man. A man. Your corpse will be another addition to my armor. Keep shooting. That won't hurt. I promise. <laughs> Oh, 
Eisenberg. Yeah, oh, we're all covered in Eisenberg. Ugh. Who's your daddy now, Heisenberg? It's us. Ethan? I heard explosions. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know. Do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Miranda. Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Calm yourself. Rose will be saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours! Where are you? Show yourself! Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. 
Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Megamycetes records. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> I've waited so long, but dreams really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child again.